Yo, bro, are Yo. you good? You've been staring at your phone for like an hour, bro. I just, I don't know if I should do it, bro. Bro, give her a call, let her know how you feel, just express yourself. You only live once, bro, you don't want to let her go. Junior, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not stressing over a girl right now, bro. I'm freaking stressing over Gordon Ramsay. Right? <laughs> I don't know if I should call him and, and let him know that I need a personal chef. Just call him, bro, let him know how you feel. You know, you only live once, bro. You know what, Junior? You're right. Call him. I am gonna call Gordon Ramsay and let him know that I need a personal chef. You fucking take the piss out of me one more time. Hey. Kiss your fucking ass Hello? goodbye. Hey, what's up, uh, Gordon Ramsay? Uh, this is this is Brandon, by the way. Bro, what is? What's up, man? You fucking donut. Of course you don't. Put <laughs> No, no, I'm not the donut, Brandon, Brawadis, what's up, bro? Um, so yeah, I, I was just calling to let you know, you know, I, I've been trying to cook for myself and make my own meals, and they just have not been coming out good at all, you know what I mean? They've been coming out kind of trash. You're fucking useless, you know that. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm useless, I know I'm not the best chef, but... Like, I, I was just wondering if I could pay you money and, like, hire you to be my personal chef? You're shit. You are so shit you don't realize what you do. Uh, oh. He hung up? <laughs> he hung up? Bro, how crazy would it be, like, if somehow, some way, there was just some private chef that just knocked on my door somehow and just offered to be my chef. I mean, yeah, bro, you can keep dreaming. <laughs> There's someone here. Who could that be? Heard you needed a private chef? Dude, no way, is this real? Yeah. You want to work for me? Absolutely. Dude, yes! I heard Gordon doesn't want to work with you, so... Gordon Schmorden, bro. I wanted FaZe Rug as a personal chef. And for the next 24 hours, FaZe Rug, my brother, is going to be cooking my meals. Are you ready? Trust me, you will not be oh. disappointed. Oh. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Woo! Hey, man, like, I'm not even trying to roast myself or anything, but... I've seen better acting on the hub than that scene we just did right now. All right, bro, so it's breakfast time right now. We'll go two eggs fine, or? Yeah, a couple of huevos, can't complain. And you like it over easy, scrambled? Uh, we'll do over easy. Over easy? I need some yolk. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna grab the olive oil. And it's extra virgin like me, so. <laughs> <laughs> the chef's got jokes, huh, but it's not a joke. Oh, yeah. ah! <laughs> hey, let me know whenever you're trying to lose it, bro. We got some rooms upstairs, a lock and shit. No. Okay. Well, I would say, like, that should be enough right there. You get it around the pan, you know what I mean? Ugh. I'm sure so many people out there watching right now would love for me to be their personal chef. Who said shell? Oh. Um, well, is there a shell? No, it's not a shell. It's just kind of like the yolk broke a little bit, but I mean, it's not. He really actually made it without a shell. I am shell shocked. So, while that's cooking up, we'll grab the hash browns and the pancakes. Junior. I didn't want to say anything out loud, but. No seasoning on the eggs. Yeah, I noticed no salt. You have to wait. Oh, what? Oh, who said something? So we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. That looks great, actually. I'm doing a good job. Guys, actually cooking is really fun. I'm not gonna lie. I don't do it, but it's fun. I mean, just don't mind this part because obviously it messed up when it cracked, but this one looks great. Did you hear? Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa, very nice. It's not over, guys. It's over easy. <laughs> yup. All right, you know what? This one should be good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just throw it in the pan, or in the plate from the pan, yeah. 
We got the second. Wow, that actually looks delicious. I did a great job on that one. Perfect. So then you're gonna put. Oh yeah. Oh, that's you like sizzle. to hear that. You like to hear that, Ben. Hey, is this hash brown or just cheese? <laughs> Looks like cheese. <laughs> so while we let the hash browns cook, we're gonna start making the pancakes. All right, so we got one cup right here. I'm gonna add one egg. Gonna give me some vanilla. All right, a milk there. Probably should have got a bigger plate, but. And then one tablespoon of oil. Hey bro, I mean. What do you, no, you don't do that. This isn't a good tasting one. For some reason, I thought it was gonna taste like cake batter or, no. like, or like cookie dough or some shit. <laughs> you wanna see some cool shit? Go. Hey! Oh, damn. bro, perfectly cooked, undercooked. Don't get me wrong, the eggs are probably freezing cold by now for how long everything else is taking, but I am excited. It's a big ass pancake. Hash browns are complete. Looking amazing. Oh! oh! All right, you got your eggs and hash brown. You got your pancake. Oh! Let me bring you some syrup. A little malfunction on the pancake. It's nothing a little syrup can't fix. Nice. Oh yeah, cavity come my way. It's a lot. Hash browns, eggs, pancakes. I cannot complain, bro. Brian, it is horrible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course. Now, let's see the taste test. First, we're gonna start with the eggs. Ooh. Uh, I mean, you know, it's definitely a, a different type of uh, over easy than I was Just trust me, <laughs> But. It's not all about what's on the outside. It's, all, mm -hmm. it's what's on the inside. Mm-hmm, the egg is good. Try the hash browns. I'm really hey. curious on that one. Now the hash browns. Get it with, you know, a little bit of ketchup. Nice little spoon or yeah. fork, whatever. It smells like Denny's. There you go. No way? Mm-hmm. Really? Hash browns are good too, bro. Damn. I'm telling you guys, if I had more time, I actually would cook. Hey, bro, at least now you know if YouTube does fail, cooking. I mean, it's, he has 20 million subscribers. What failure could come with that? <laughs> syrup. I say syrup. Sarah? Sarah. Syrup. 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 Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's syrup. Take a bite. Okay, not, not in a mean way or not in like a disrespectful way. It's weird because the outside looks burnt. But the inside still kind of tastes like the batter. No. I don't know how that makes sense. It's because I put, I cooked it on high. Here, you can have a pancake. Oh, I'm good. I'm oh, bro, right here. Solid breakfast. Thank you. I got you, bro. I got and, you. And uh, now let's just sit a little bit and wait until lunch, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Okay, guys, so it's been a few hours since I ate Brian's huevos. And now, it's... <laughs> <laughs> It's actually time for lunch. We're on the way to the store. I have no idea what my brother is buying for lunch. Please. Okay, fine. We'll get burgers. Burgers? Kobe. All right. Kobe beef round pack. Gotta get the Kobe beef for the Black Mamba. Oh, we're in the glizzy section. I love the glizzy Dude, so much. Dude, I love Brian's glizzy. I mean, I love the... Dude, see, you just have to make it weird. Though. Okay, I mean, I mean, I love uh, regular glizzies. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Beef, right? Yes, beef, yes. Okay. Hot dog and burgers, a classic lunch, bro. Hey, sounds it's good to me. <laughs> okay, guys, it is lunchtime. Even though we've only lived here for like three years. Oh, a lot of spider webs. But I'm not gonna clean it off. That's like the specialty in my. Honestly, I off. like the uh, the diversity. And all honesty, Brian, how many times have you actually used a grill in your life? I don't think I've ever used a grill. Right. So Brian's first time ever using a grill, right here on camera for you guys to watch. All right, guys, it's lunchtime, but with daylight savings time, it literally gets dark at five. It's weird. It's weird. It's like it feels like it's 9 p.m. right now, but it's five. So we're gonna start with the burger. Some garlic powder on this side. Okay. Yeah. I think there's a fucking ant on here. Alright, take that out. Some pepper. First you take the burger and you put it on the grill. <laughs> Shout out raw money. 
little hot dog action. Whoa! 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 Maybe I should do it this way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know how like uh, safe this is or anything, but. Oh, bro, let me get a bite. Yeah. <laughs> you can travel the world, but nothing comes, comes close to the golden coast. coast. Once you party with us, you'll be falling in love. Oh, 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 oh. California girl, we're up an animal. Daisy juice bikinis on top. Strong fish, fish, so hot it'll melt your popsicle. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, right. carried away. Shout out Katy Perry. All right, let's gotcha. get a flip. Oh, what? That's fine. That it happens when I cook. Sometimes. Okay, it's just part of the process. All right. Look how focused. Yeah, because I don't want to cut my finger off. God, how many tomatoes is he going to eat? <laughs> how do you cut this thing, bro? Okay. Don't that works. Next thing there is on here. Oh my god. That's so much freaking lettuce. Okay, is it time for another flip of Rooney? Yes, sir. Oh, damn, bro. Hey, that looks bomb. Let me get the buns on the grill as well. Oh, are you sure you want me to put the buns on the grill? It's going to hurt a little bit. Okay. Fine. Oh, do we put the hot dog bun, bun on it? <laughs> what? Hot dog. And also, bro, life hack, you, you have to put the cheese so it melts on the burger. Oh, where do I put that? Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to place the cheese like I and do. It's called please. Then you take the cheese and you put it on top of the burger. Oh shit! Look at the bun. Hey, he caught oh it. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Are you not He's supposed to cook the outside? I'm not one to critique Brian's cooking because he is doing this for me, so I'm just thankful. But just wait on it, bro. Trust me. Brian, on this. you don't grill the outside. <laughs> no, you don't flip the oh. you freaking. Just do it, Brian. Wait, just do it. Flip the cheese. Just freaking. Oh, oh my god, dude. Lost cheese. Oh shit. It's hot. <laughs> Trust me on this, like you're actually gonna love it. Okay, dude, Freddy Krueger actually came and scratched the butt. <laughs> huh? Telling you this smells delicious. This is the phase rug. Okay. Ready, hold up. And better than a Krabby Patty. Brian, I'm gonna try the hot dog first, cause it's pretty damn hard to mess up a hot dog. So <laughs> let me know. Okay. That has to be good. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hot dog, yes. <coughs> you are a menace to society. Who the hell eats a hot dog like this? Hot dog, bomb, A+. plus. Now the burger. Interesting, interesting. It's definitely good. You know what? It's good, right? Not bad, bro. You see the inside? Is it cooked? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Bro, look at how perfect I cooked that. This is actually pretty good, Brian. Well done. Bro, the method he used on the grill was unorthodox. People don't usually do it like that. <laughs> you don't usually flip the burger with the cheese on the other side. But it freaking works! It works! Great burger. Great hot dog. What do you rate it? 10 out of 10. Really? Mm-hmm. And now, we wait for dinner. Okay, guys. So, my brother has cooked breakfast for me, he's cooked lunch for me, and I appreciate it a lot. So, I kind of feel bad also making him cook dinner for me, like that's just too much. We're gonna decide this with a game of ping pong. The loser of this game has to cook dinner for the other brother. Okay. What should we play to, five? Five, yeah. Five points, deal? Let's do it. Okay, loser cooks dinner, let's see who's gonna serve first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh-oh. Right. Serve. I serve. Me and Ron are actually nasty at ping pong, bro. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Yes. Ah. One, one. Ah, oh, two, one. 
Oh, and three one. Three one. Ah. Three two. Three two. Oh. Ah. Three three. Three three, guys. Oh. Yes. Hey, three, three. I got game point. If I score, I win. Hey. Hey! 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four, next point wins. What the fuck? Oh! oh my God. It's all in the serve. It's all in the serve. That's... Hey, Jeez. I don't mind. So now, dinner is on me. Let's see what Bravadis is gonna cook for phase run. I don't know if that's like a good thing, you know what I mean? Like, I won, I should be getting something good, but. You gotta okay, trust fine. me. I'm gonna make you something good. Trust okay, me. Okay, I got you it. trust me? Yes. Okay. Brian, for dinner, I am making you a rib eye steak, bro. I love ribeye. Dude, ribeye is the best cut of meat because it comes with a little bit of fat. You know what I mean? For a good steak, you need a little bit of fat. So first, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna dry the steak, bro. Okay. So, See, I wouldn't have known to do that. So you're gonna wanna dry it, pat it dry, bro. Flip it. Do not be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. Pat, pat. Pat. What does that do though? It pulls out the moisture so that that way when you cook it, the outside is, it's more like crispy, you know? It's like a little crust, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Now, a good steak, you don't need to season it with all this seasoned salt and, and onion and all, no, 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 no. A good cut of meat, all you're gonna wanna put on this ribeye is salt. I wanna put some salt. Some pepper too. That's all you're gonna wanna season this steak with. Just salt and pepper. That's crazy, because when I cook steak, I usually put like garlic seasoning. On it. Is that not good? See, a lot of people are gonna complain in the comments and be like, bro, you barely put any seasoning. Why'd you only do salt and pepper? Like I said, a good cut of steak, like a ribeye, just salt and pepper. But if you're getting like a chuck or like, if you're getting a different cut of steak, then you could season it with everything else. But like I said, this is a good cut of meat, Brian. Okay, you're gonna also wanna get the fat season too. Ooh. You cannot forget anything, bro. You know what I mean? You're gonna wanna get the salt and pepper in there. You want the flavor to stick. Okay. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put a little bit of oil, just a little bit, olive oil. Okay guys, so once you get the oil hot and sizzling, you're gonna wanna grab your steak. Most people would just put the steak on the pan, but what I'm gonna do, you're gonna take the fat side of the steak and you're gonna put it down here. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Why do you do it like that? So the reason you wanna do this first before laying the steak down is cause all the fat renders down into the pan, so that way you're cooking the ribeye steak with all the juices from the fat, and it makes ah. it 10 times better. Usually you're gonna wanna hold it a little bit longer, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my fingers are fucking burning right now, so we are gonna drop it. Look at the size. <laughs> then, if you thought we were just cooking it with the oil and the fat, you must be crazy. You get your butter, over here, you get your peeled garlic, and then you're gonna get a couple pieces of fresh thyme. Okay guys, so now you're gonna wanna grab the steak, and you're gonna wanna flip. Uh, Ooh. So that crust that you see on the outside, that happened because we dried off all the, all the moisture. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your butter, and you're gonna drop it in there. Ooh. Look at that butter melting, bro. Look at that butter melting. Then you're gonna take your garlic, place it in there. Then you're gonna take your thyme and you're gonna put that on the steak, just like that. You're not just gonna wanna sit there and watch the butter melt. What you're gonna wanna do now, you're gonna wanna baste the steak with the melted butter all day long. You're gonna baste the steak. You're gonna take all that, you can even throw the butter on there. Don't be shy to throw the butter on there for a little bit. Baste your whole ribeye with all that melted butter. Don't be afraid to get some of the garlic on it for some flavor and just keep on basting, guys. Keep on basting the melted butter. Is this the healthiest way to eat a steak? Hell no! But is it the best tasting way to eat a steak? Hell yes! Listen, if you're eating a steak, you're not eating it to be healthy, guys. You're eating it for the flavor. 
and the result is the finished product of the ribeye steak it actually looks delicious get it up close and look how juicy that looks oh look dude look at the juices look at the juices pouring oh my god bro not too rare not too overcooked you got some of the garlic on there the thyme yeah. and most importantly the best part of the steak the fat there's a lot of fat on here look at this the fat on the outside the fat over here brian you got yourself a beautiful looking steak right here it looks so good oh but, my god brian what is a steak dinner without a little bit of wine you know I like what i mean that. i like that fancy so, here you go and brian the final step before you eat it you get some of that melted butter and just for you know some extra flavor you're gonna want to pour some of it on there uh-huh okay brian all right ready mm-hmm oh whoa look at that how is it don't lie i'm not even lying this literally tastes like you're at a steakhouse really bro this is actually insane what the heck it's so juicy, very flavorful. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. 10? 100%. I got you, bro. Okay, let's see the inside, Brian. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, that's so, good. So, yeah, there's the color. Usually, I would go for a little more pink. Wow. Brian, look. Oh, there's a bite right there waiting for me because it has a little bit of pink. This one? Yeah, can you cut it for me? And then also a little bit of the fat with it, bro. Yeah. Please, yes, yes. I need some of that fat. I need that. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Please. You ready? Uh-huh. Bro. Bro. It's nuts. All the flavor is in the fat. You need to eat the fat. It's actually crazy. Mom, Dad, come here, guys. My oh. mouth is watering from what you guys are saying. Mm -hmm. Go try it. Is it? Okay. Come on, feed me. Go. <laughs> Brian, I'm sorry, I know this was your steak. Oh, look at all that dude. Ron's going for the wine. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Mmm. Very juicy. Dude. Juicy couture. <laughs> oh my god, no, for That's real. Fire pops. Delicious. Delicioso. It's good. Got a little garlic. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, the oh parents love the garlic. Oh, mom, kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. Look at him sleeping in the garage. <laughs> 10 out of 10, bro. Dude, wow. Junior, Junior, Junior. Yo, yo, yo. Junior, open up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a big piece. Uh huh? That's so good. <laughs> Okay guys, that is going to close out today's video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. I want to give props to my brother because I didn't think he could cook like that, but he actually made me some good meals. So shout out to my brother, show him some love. A hidden talent of Faze Rug is cooking. Rate my meals, please, down below. Yeah, let me know in the comment section which food, which meal looked best. Other than that, please drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. It has been your boy, Brandon, AKA Barwadis. Face rug, and we are out. Peace. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right.